be able to mimic that. You'll be able to see that you feel sad, understand that sadness, and go, so oh, okay. So have to kill someone to realise that's wrong. <laughs> no, but they won't, I don't know if they'll say that's wrong, but they'll know what that feeling is, because what's mm. wrong or wrong? If I kill you, mm. I feel bad because, well, you are like me. I just killed me, basically. A part of me is dead. You're also conscious, you know? But if a robot kills a human being, that's nothing. Like, do, you, do you get sad when you step on an ant? Okay. I had another question for you. Do you get sad when you step on an ant? That <laughs> kills spiders for fun. You kill for fun, motherfucker. Oh, the spiders They're gonna come like after us for fun, bro. They're gonna them, come bro. after us for like Hunger Games, motherfuckers. Uh, release us into not, the wild the and chase us. <laughs> <laughs> We're going. The worst is sentient spiders, bro. Uh, That's like the worst, bro. Yeah, anyway, they, they're me. alive. They had families to go back to. <laughs> they had a whole little village and shit. But no, go on. You were saying you had a question. I forgot. No, like, this is interesting because like, I think Elon Musk talks a lot about this. He goes, like, at the, he believes 100% we are going to, we're heading down a direction where AI is going to take yeah. over. Okay, so back to what I was going to say, that my question was, like, when do you think the end of civilization will be then? Do you think this civilization will reach a breaking point? Because it always does. Uh, they've been more advanced, uh, apparently they've been more advanced civili- civilizations before us. That's not true. And they've just been wiped out. They're advanced in their I own mean, way, but not, not, not this advanced. The reason why I say that, the reason why I say it is the history books have been wiped out. So we, we don't know. And we've known, we know, what we do know is the Earth's been around for billions of years. Mm-hmm. And we know humans have come quite a long time before. So they've had a long time, right? In that meantime, it has stopped, it has started. It has stopped and it has started. So my point is, this is starting again. So when it first started, when the calendar was zero zero, yeah. So it's gotten to this point now. My point, I'm talking about the ones before that. Mm-hmm. So there was something that broke. They did wrong. That civilization dipped. Mm-hmm. The history books have been wiped. So there's no recollection of. They might as well not have existed. Mm-hmm. But we have artifacts, for example, that depict that this happened. Mm-hmm. For example, one of the easiest things to think about is the Egyptians and how they built the pyramids. Mm-hmm. We at that time. They did not have the technology, or supposedly did not have the technology to build some a structure like that. I mean, they did, they did it. Apparently, did yeah. That's my point. Supposedly, they didn't because at that time, they can't. This there wasn't enough man power, you know. And you don't have cranes, you mm, don't have mm. fucking bulldozers knocking shit. You mm. know, they have to take heavy tons of yeah, brick. did it physically and exactly. So, so what was it? So that means they were advanced. I mean, speaking of that specific, specific like the pyramids, I, I read up on it. So it's interesting. Apparently, they had. The, the most organized manpower we've ever seen existed in history. You, you think it's just man that lifted? It was, it was, it was. You, they, I mean, I don't know for sure because I wasn't there, but the research that shows is like people, what, what they, they, first off, they looked at time differently than we do. When they would start a project that they knew they wouldn't be able to finish. Mm-hmm. You know, start something like, apparently there's a c- c- cathedral somewhere that they knew it took 400 years to do. And they started and finished it in 400 years. Mm. I don't know. I got to research on that. But it was like longer than the lifespan. And they still mm. did it. Because they still, oh, my family's going to, my children's children are going to keep doing it. And they That's did that. Mad. So same thing as the pyramids. Like they just went, okay, it's going to take 40 years to do it. Or how many fucking mm. years to do it? We look at time frame as like, okay, we got to get fucking building blocks and shit to do it in the next year. They looked at, oh, we get 40 years to do it? That's fine. We can do it 40 years if we just take it. But it was like, they had like shifts. And the most of them were slaves, so that's What's shift. the purpose of the pyramids? Everyone monument. talks. Everyone talks. I know it's a monument, but everyone talks about it being having a greater purpose. It was like apparently the, the king at the time wanted to like um, create a monument. Like for example, the Taj Mahal is just is a monument because yeah. it's there for its beauty. Yeah. yeah. Same but thing. the pyramids. If there's was, something else with a link to it, like, dude, it's it's perfectly. So the, the architecture is insane, like for back then especially. Every pyramid block is like they tried like there's like three or four, or five they tried different ones smaller ones that were something fucked up. That's just different. But they just kept going, bro. It's like, different it's to the. It's different to the. Okay, here's a question then. Do you think if AIs are made, they'll make far better monuments than we, than we have? Uh, Do you think if AIs were made, they'll be able to make a Taj Mahal? They'll be able to make a pyramid? Yeah, why not? If you program them to do it. Beauty, like we have the sense of beauty. What do you mean program? If you have a sentient no, AI... you program them to... Because the beauty, you can program so them to It's okay. Them. So this is an interesting question. Are we smarter than... Are we smarter than robots? So look, I, I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm nobody. I, I'm not even have any perfect... I don't even know about this shit. Yeah. Right? But this is how I would do it, right? You program the robot, show them what the public likes, yeah? Collect knowledge of what the public deems as beautiful, yeah. right? In terms of monuments, right? Get that data, 
program and feed them that data so they have knowledge of okay this looks good this doesn't look good this looks good this doesn't look good yeah based on all of that information mm -hmm. they're going to come up with their own design that's how they that, do it that's it's not them thinking it's it's them using data that scientists have collected from people's opinions they wouldn't have the con they wouldn't there's no way they could do it it's like a baby they don't know anything but they know everything. Hmm? They know everything. But you're feeding them. You're giving them. You're programming that information. They don't. They don't know it by themselves. But isn't like a program is like a preset, right? So it's like you set them as like, okay, look on the internet, and you do. You don't. You don't specifically put this picture, this picture, this picture. It just goes every information out there on the internet on monuments. Look at all of look them. At all of them, and, and then come up with your but own. But that's still. Yeah. But still, we can make choices because of our experiences and our human hmm. kind of like. But you're doing the same thing. You're, they I, don't have that. Okay, so if I want to think about. So that. like, if you are beauty, like your perception of beauty is based on how you grew up and all of that shit, and so it, it changes. Obviously, you can see something that's objectively beautiful. So that means they're not using their own perception of beauty. They're, they're using, using someone else's. People. They're using the people, the data they've collected. But isn't that too many perspectives to have a one perception of beauty? Because your perception of beauty is from you only. That's why it makes yeah, sense. That's why it probably would be ugly. The final result would probably be ugly because, because it's a mix too of much. so many things. Yeah, too it's, much. It'll probably be some hybrid fucking Taj Mahal, like, Eiffel Tower. Yeah, yeah. Tower. That's what it would be because it's so many mixed opinions. Or, or <laughs> it would be the most beautiful thing you'd ever see because it's so because it's a mix of everything that you deem as beautiful. It would yeah. be perfect. Yeah. And the only thing that could make something perfect would be a robot. 